Hey traders, short recap for my trading session today. I'm going to talk about two things today. The one is the point of no return, extremely important. And the second one, what you should not do. And you will see soon what I mean. Now I'm looking at uh, mRNA. mRNA starts with a gap down of uh, three and a half or so percent. Normally you expect it to continue coming down because it should be a gap and go. Over three percent, supposed to be a gap and go. Now this point right over here is the point of no return. So I'm about to short it. I'm shorting it now with uh, 4,000 shares. So I just took a position of 4,000 shares short, expecting it to continue coming down because that's the whole idea of a gap and go. You expect it to continue in the direction of the gap. Now, what's the point of no return? The point of no return is the point where you believe as a trader, now it's a bit tricky for me to explain, actually impossible for me to explain, where the stock is not likely to move back up. When it moved down too much, so-called too much from the highs, that would be the point where you believe is the point where the stock should continue coming down. Now you start with the expectation that it will move under the lows just like it did. And I'm up $16,000 that point, $17,000, $19,000 and a small pullback and I'm about to take my partial right here. So I just had a great trade in mRNA starting with the expectation of a gap and go. Now here are the results. The second thing I'm teaching you now is what you shouldn't do after you have such a perfectly good short trade. Now, as you can see, my profit in MRNA is uh, $17,800. So that was an amazing trade. And I was up after like, what, three minutes? I should have stopped. When you reach your profit target, the same as you reach your stop loss target, you should stop. Now, don't make the same mistake I did today because you can see that my end result is just over 10 grand and um, I, I just worked hard to lose my hard earned money today with trade like uh, LVGN and mRNA, a small winner in PPSI. But the thing is, if you reach your profit target, you are done exactly the same way as if you reached your stop loss target. So just remember this rule. It's an extremely important rule. You do not want to stop. The reason you do not want to stop is because you believe that you're invincible. You believe that you can take the next trade and make much more profit and so on because you just believed in yourself a little bit too much. Don't believe in yourself too much. It's the market. You can't really know what's going on. And please remember that trading security is extremely, extremely hard. And whatever you're seeing here, uh, my performance is definitely not typical. So what you're seeing here is a performance of a very experienced, experienced trader. So I am experienced. If you're not the same as I am, I suggest maybe start with a demo. Just don't trade live money and definitely don't trade money you can't, uh, uh, you can't lose. So again, trading is hard. Be careful. If you like this video, please give us a thumb up. I would really appreciate that. And you can subscribe to this channel right by clicking here. And there's plenty of links below. You can join us. You're very welcome to join us. Um, and uh, thank you again for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next video.